Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1092. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video we have some numbers, and we actually need to count how many singles, doubles, triples, quadruples there are. So for example, doubles, well, there's a 55 and a 55, and a 62 and a 62. So there should be a count of two. When we count quadruples, there's only one. One, two, three, four, five. So there should be a one. So we're actually counting quadruples, triples, doubles, etc. Now when I get a situation like this, usually I have to hunt around and think and do all that. So you know, I kind of start off just going, well, this, this has to do with counting how many 55s there are, how many 62s, how many 37s. So I started off with count if. The whole range, control shift down arrow, F4, comma, left arrow, control enter, double click and send it down. So now I can see, yes, when I get a 55, it's going to say 2 in both cases. 62, 2 in both cases. So then if we can create this whole column, this helper column, in a single cell, we can analyze it. We can say, how many 2's are there? Well, there's 4. That's not what we want. But we can take the total count 1, 2, 3, 4, and divide by 2. That'll give us 2. When we get over to our quadruples, one, there's 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. So there's 8 of them, and we could divide by 4. For this single 1 here, there's only 1, 1. But we could take that and divide by 1. So let's try that. Now, one cool thing about helper columns, anytime you get a, a column, notice it's the whole range and then cell reference, cell reference, Enter F2, cell reference there. So it's as if we took this whole helper column and if we just slapped this whole extra column again into the criteria argument, we could get simulate this whole column in a single cell. So I'm going to say equals count if. And the range, now the range, we just put a whole bunch of values in there, F4. That argument's expecting a bunch of values, but this one is not. Now count if, sum if, sum ifs, count ifs. The range argument can't handle an array operation, but the criteria argument can. So we simply highlight the whole thing. Again, F4, close parentheses. And now when we highlight this, because we gave the criteria argument, normally it's one criteria, and count if spits out one answer. But now we're given a, a bunch of criteria, so it's going to spit out a bunch of answers. In fact, a whole column of answers. So there's that simulated column. Now we can analyze this, Control Z. Now. Uh, that's called a function argument array operation. So we are going to have to do something uh, tricky to that to get it into the cell and calculate. Now I'm going to ask the question of that whole helper column in a single cell. Are you equal to, not two, are you equal to one cell to my left? Now let me just enter this and copy it down. It's not going to work. But let's come down here and highlight and F9 and see what we get. Well, we get a bunch of trues. There should be exactly one, two, three, four. Four. Now we can convert those to ones and zeros with any math operation. But what we really want to do is divide by two. So I'm going to this equal sign operation has to calculate before division. So we have to force that with parentheses. And now I simply divide it by whatever that is. Let's take a look. Highlight. F9. So there we get 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. If we were to add all those up, it would give us 2, which is how many there are. Control Z. And I want to add them, and that's an array operation. I can't I could put it in sum, but then I'd have to use that special keystroke control shift enter. So I'm going to use sum product. Now we're just going to use the sum part of it. The product would be multiplying multiple arrays, but we're just going to slap our array calculation into the array argument in some product, because it can add this, and it won't require Control-Shift-Enter. That argument can handle array operations without Control-Shift-Enter. Control-Enter, whoops, what did I do there wrong? I think I want to not have that argument. Oh, right, when I hit Tab, it accepted that. Uh, it took that parentheses that was already there, so I need another one. Control-Enter. 
double click and send it down, and then copy it up. So down here, we can run Formula Evaluator, Alt-MV. Enter, we see the whole column there. Are any of those equal to 5? We get some trues in there. Then we're going to divide it by 5. And look at that. We get 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. When it adds it up, it gets exactly 1. All right. Uh, there's probably a better way to do this, but that's what I could think of. Oh, check this out. Edit mode. I forgot to check my formula. Look at that. That range should not be 23. It should be 22. So I'm going to correct that point to the edge and drag it up. All right, so these two ranges should be criteria and range looking at the same range. All right, we'll control enter, double click and send it down, click in the last cell, F2, verify. Looks like it's working all right. All right, we'll see you next trick.